Hello everybody, Galarian Sangvi here. Welcome to the next episode. Now I'm going to be filling around with volumes for a little bit. I noticed that the volume in the first video that I tried out was a bit mixed. So I'm lowering the game volume a little bit and uh, raising my mic volume a little bit. To hopefully make it sound like you hear me better and you also hear a decent amount of the game. Anyway, this may be a bit of a balancing act, but let's go. A deadly plot. Oh, and I'm going to have to mute this for a second. <laughs> Jedi Starfighter! It's a dark time for the galaxy. Under the leadership of Count Dooku, a growing number of worlds threaten to leave the Galactic Republic. As Dooku gains loyal followers, the Jedi Knights struggle to maintain peace and order. The Jedi Council has ordered Alagala to test the new prototype Starfighter in hopes that it will provide the Jedi with, with greater firepower. Meanwhile, Count Dooku has made a deal with Captain Rabbit Talk uh, and the Trade Federation that could uh, secure victory in the war to come. Sorry, just gotta mess with the audio settings until I know that's safe, because I know this gets heavily copyrighted. Uh, this is a little bit longer. Here we go. This should be safe. A ship. A big one at that. And please end music. Ah, Count Doku. What a pleasant interruption. Yes, this is a secure comm channel. Good. I'm troubled by reports of a resistance movement in the Carfax system. I hope it won't impact our research. The Trade Federation has taken complete control of the system and is prepared to crush the resistance. The project is still on schedule. It won't be long before the weapon is ready. I'll hold you to that, Captain. The countermeasure must be delivered to Geonosis when our allies arrive. We cannot afford a delay. I understand. I'll keep close watch over the system and the Trade Federation. Good. Serve me well, Toph, and you'll hold a prominent place in our new order. Nice work, Master Gallia. The prototype is quite effective. And I was only flying at half speed. But it still needs rigorous combat testing. Well, you should get your chance soon enough. I sense that Master Windu has a new assignment for you. That's odd. He usually keeps his thoughts well hidden. He still does. But then I just talked to him, and he wants you to report to the Jedi Council Chamber immediately. I'm on my way. Master Gallia, was the prototype all we expected? Yes, Master Windu, but I sense that is not why you summoned me here. The recent political events trouble you. Your insight serves you well. Count Dooku's separatist movement is causing talk of war and the Jedi could become involved. But we now face a far more immediate threat. We've been monitoring the Karthek system and have discovered an unsettling Trade Federation presence. To my knowledge, the Karthak system is remote and lawless. Whatever the Trade Federation is doing there, it can't be legal. I agree. In fact, we believe there are building weapons. We want you to confirm this and destroy any threat without attracting unwanted attention. What of the local pirates? They formed a small resistance movement led by a Fioran named Nim, but they don't have any hope of victory. Without our help? Exactly. We hope you'll be able to join forces with Nim. I've read his dossier in the archives. 
According to his personality profile, he won't welcome our intervention. Probably not, but I've arranged for you to meet one of his allies near the Ruby Nebula. I'll leave immediately. Be careful, Master Galia. If you run into trouble, we can't promise a cavalry. The Force will be my guide. And may it protect you as well. Ah, Count Doko! <laughs> he does not say Dooku right at all in that cutscene. Oh my god. Count Doko! <laughs> Uh, and also, I forgot, uh, the screen looks weird to you guys. It's still not highlighted as if I watched it. Um, if the screen looks weird for you guys, keep in mind, I am playing this off the PS4. This was a, uh, Star Wars Edition PS4 that I got. Uh, um, at one point, so it has a few Star Wars games on it. And because it's emulating a PS2 game, the screens aren't going to be full screen for the most part, outside of missions. So, I'm sorry for that. There's nothing I can do about that. Master Ge uh, Galia travels to the Ruby Nebula to find the contract with if Locke's resistance. Destroy escaping data pods. Which I forget what they look like in this game. Astromech, scour the area for any starships. Our contact must be nearby. <laughs> Nothing. That's odd. The nebula must be interfering with our sensors. I'm opening all comm frequencies. Shooting star hailing know-it-all. Do you copy? Know-it-all copies? <clears throat> who sells egg seeds on Coruscant? Oh, you know who sent me. Do we really need passcodes? Um, yes. Who sells egg seeds on Coruscant? Mace Windu, now will you please take me to Nim? Okay, okay. Keep your headpiece on. Ready, well-paid guide to the Outer Rim at your service. Just follow me and I'll take you straight to the Resistance Movement. Wait a moment, I'm picking up readings of incoming craft. You've been followed. What? Are you kidding? I once outran 16 droid starfighters on Naboo. It would be impossible for... Oh boy, we're in trouble. I don't know how they did it. I'm the slickest pilot in the entire Cossack system. Now is not the time, Retty. We can't leave until we destroy these droids. We'll lead them straight to Nim. Look out, incoming! They're coming in waves. Let's take out these droid starfighters, so of hey, course he gets followed. Hey, ship there, Eddie. <laughs> if you're thinking of selling... This ship is not for sale. It is a prototype that may become a powerful aid to the Jedi. Where are they all coming from? Must be a carrier sending them out. I've researched your past. You were once quite the mercenary. What? Oh, that little thing. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, it was nothing. Good job, Reggie. Yeah? <laughs> hey, you need a new Padawan? <laughs> I would hate to see him as a Jedi. More fighters! No problem. Me and them go way back. He trusts me. I hope. I hope. That's something I do not want to hear. Good shot. Gonna be impressed with. Uh, just let me mess with the audio again. Okay. Hopefully the audio is a little bit more bearable. It's something I'm gonna have to keep adjusting as the this series goes on. Sight, yeah, well, this is where I need all my Jedi contacts. These guys ain't kidding around. More star fighters? We got some scarabs! It is like one of the few times you actually see him in this game, because the actual droid starfighters actually become common. I don't know why these guys became obsolete. They have shields. Although they guess still need an overhaul. Attention enemies of the Trade Federation. You will stand down and surrender your ships. That must be the carrier launching all the fighters. If we can take it down, we can hightail it out of here. Do not resist capture. Okay, I've seen these carriers before, so here's a word to the wise. You gotta watch out for the turrets on the top. Attack them from underneath. You have fired on a trade federation vessel. You leave me no choice but to destroy you. But you're attacking us, buddy.
and your shields must be very pathetic if a, if a starfighter could do this much damage to your shields. The one sad thing, you don't have any secondaries, especially for the first mission, you do not have Force Lightning for some stupid reason. Oh, I was wondering where all the fighters were! It's like, where are all the fighters? Oh, I would love for force ability you get later, which makes taking down these targets so much easier. Launch the backups of our launch device. Our ship IDs are in those escape pods. We gotta destroy them. Please go down. Good, now they won't be reporting on us anytime soon. The prototype has passed its first combat test. Alright, this is it. I'm going in after the carrier. Let's take it out. Fire all lasers on that carrier. Let's go around for a pass. And focus fire. Carriers going down. And we complete the mission. Now, is there anything else I'll need to worry about? No, no, it should be clear all the way to Maramir. Just follow me. Also, I have to ask, did they jump into hyperspace? I thought the Delta 7 could not jump into hyperspace without a hyperspace ring. Uh, oops. <laughs> that must have been something they overlooked. <laughs> anyway. I'll see you all in the next episode. Later.